And developing right now, another inmate dying at the Broward County Jail. It is just the latest in a series of several deaths at that facility. Family members and the Public Defender's Office now demanding answers. Local Tennessee Nella Sabovic is live from Fort Lauderdale with the latest on the ongoing problems at that facility. Sunella. Well, four inmates have died in just a matter of weeks. Broward's public defender tells me he wants to get to the bottom of it. He actually visited the jail earlier today. And we also hear from Sheriff Gregory Tony. Four inmates dying at Broward County jails just weeks apart, prompting Broward's public defender Gordon Weeks to visit the main jail this morning. The circumstances surrounding all of these deaths is what is of concern because otherwise healthy individuals are entering into the jail and then they are dying. The latest inmate died on Monday, 34 year old Joseph Kirk. He was arrested last week on a resisting an officer without violence charge. While at the jail, he was going through a detox process. Sometime very shortly after being introduced to the jail, he was found uh, to be unconscious and then transported over to the hospital and subsequently uh, expired. Um, my understanding there be maybe some uh, questionable circumstances surrounding um, the death and we will be looking forward to seeing the, the Emmys report, toxicology reports, to determine whether there was any foul play or any contraband introduced into the facility. Kirk's uncle wants to know how his nephew died. I have a bunch of questions. I have a bunch of questions. And I'm looking, and I'm looking to get some answers on the up and up on what the hell happened. Earlier this month, another inmate, Corbin Moberg, died. Prior to his death, we reported on the deaths of 43-year-old Alvin Modeste, who died from injuries he suffered from a suicide attempt. I was expecting for them to keep him safe. And Jannar Jaffard, who was brutally beaten by another inmate, choked for two minutes straight. It took 21 minutes, according to his family's attorney, before a corrections deputy noticed what happened. He kept doing it after he was down. Both suffered from mental health issues. Weeks wants to see a change within the jail system and a response from Sheriff Gregory Tony. The red flags are, there are so many flags. Um, each individual has a separate um, indicator that may have caused a death. And that tells me that there are multiple gaps that are being missed. And I spoke to Sheriff Gregory Tony on the phone just a few moments ago, and I'm paraphrasing here. He tells me that once an inmate dies, a thorough investigation needs to be launched. Reports need to be filed, so he can't comment on something that is currently ongoing. He also has told me that Weeks's letters are political in nature, that these commentaries need to stop, that activities need to take place to address the mental health crisis in the jails, something he says that he's been sounding the alarm on for a very long time. More to come with this. That is the latest here out of Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News. All right, keep us updated. Thank you, Sonella.